This lecture will talk about specialization and how organizational structure enables the benefits of specialization, the efficiency and effectiveness benefits of specialization and expertise uh, to be enabled by, the, uh, by having different roles in different parts of the organization, the importance of specialization. After identifying the activities that have to be accomplished, managers will then tend to break down the activities into specific tasks that can be handled by individual employees. This division of labor into small specific tasks and assignment of employees to do specific tasks, each doing a single task, is specialization. The rationale for specialization is efficiency. People can perform more efficiently if they master just one task rather than all tasks. Specialization means workers do not waste time shifting from one, jo one job to another and training is easier. Specialization also occurs when the activities that must be performed within an organization are too nu numerous for one person to handle. Sometimes over-specialization can occur and that can have negative consequences. This means that there are the job one does is very, very specific and can become tedious, repetitive, and very boring. So that's the, that's the challenge. Employees that get bored and dissatisfied with their jobs might become unhappy and they're likely to lower their quality of work. There might be more injuries as they're not paying attention, higher employee turnover. Extreme cases, employees in crowded specialized electronics plants are unable to form relationships with one another. They're focused so much on the task, they don't even get to know anybody, there's no social support structure, and the culture starts to suffer. Job specialization, as an example, is common in automotive, automobile manufacturing. By dividing work into smaller tasks, smaller, very specialized tasks, employees can perform their work more quickly and efficiently. It's this assembly line idea, but it's not just in physical plants. It also happens in larger organizations, people spec or in staff kind of uh, service or, or, or human capital knowledge organizations. There's finance specialists, but even in finance, you have people that are that do uh, financial modeling. You have other people that do accounting. So there's various kinds of specialization that one has to deal with. Uh, we'll talk in the next section about how this specialization idea um, leads to or helps us think about various departments and organizations as they get larger.